Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Factorio Beginner's Guide. My name is Rick Negative and let's get cracking. Ah, dearie me, we're uh, we're closing in on the end, ladies and gentlemen. We're not that far away from the uh, the rocket silo and launching a rocket and uh, saving ourselves from this planet. Now, um, I'd like to just point out a few things to you guys uh, that I um, that I worked on uh, just off camera. Uh, first and foremost, this is your standard power armor configuration. Pause the video if you'd like to. Um, peruse it a little bit more basically you go three power plants um four legs and um five shields this is for uh, a warframe now your construction power armor looks a little bit different you go five um robo ports and potentially an extra two legs but i uh, just wanted to point that out to you now we're uh, we're working away at getting the stuff together to uh, to build a rocket silo now a rocket silo a rocket silo, oh, it's over here. Is it? Yes. Uh, it takes 1,000 steel plate, 1,000 concrete, 100 pipe, 200 processing units, and 200 electric engine units. Now we need to start setting this, these materials aside so that when, uh, when it comes time, we've got them ready to go. Now I think that, uh, I think that we'll place our rocket silo somewhere up here-ish. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll request in one, two, three, four, five, or we'll build five. Go one, two, three, four, and five. I already had them in my inventory, so that means I'm just uh, just topping up my inventory now. Um, so we need steel, concrete, pipe, processing units, and electric energy. Can do. That's a thousand steel. Uh, we need a thousand concrete. We need 100 pipe. We need 200 processing units. They're the blue ones. And whoops, 200. And then we need 200 uh, electric engine units. 100. Okay, so the robots are going to bring this in. It's going to uh, set aside exactly what we need so that when uh, when this is done, we're going to have plenty of stuff. And that's going to be really, really, really good. Now, the next couple of things, we need to automate a couple more um, products ready for the rocket defense. Now, I, uh, I did one real quickly just so that uh, we can keep moving this episode. I'll show it to you down here. Now, it's just uh, the solid fuel production. Basically, all we do is we take uh, solid fuel and then we put it into an assembler and it makes rocket fuel. Now, rocket fuel is special. It cannot be burnt. All right. And the closest analogy is, you know, just imagine if you're putting a SRB, like a solid rocket booster, into a boiler. You know, it's fairly energetic, um, whereas solid fuel is a little bit more uh calm um, <laughs> when it burns so we've got this um being set aside now and uh, this is set to a thousand and uh, that's that's going to take care of our rocket fuel requirements now the next two products that we need to do are low density structures and the rocket control units now the rocket control units i think that uh, we can potentially do something with this now we've got um you'll notice here that i've extended out the module ones so that they can be extracted okay, here but i think i'm actually going to change this yes i am going to change this what i want to do is i want to extract it all the way out because the rocket control units take processing units and speed modules so if we extend this here and if we take this here we kind of naturally have a uh, a line created. So what we'll do is we'll throw down a couple of these. Uh, these rocket control units take 30 seconds each. So I would like to have... Mm, how many is a good number here? I want eight. I think 10. I think 10 is a good number. And we'll, we'll eyeball this and see what kind of production we get because uh, things may not be fast enough for this, especially our processing units. 
You can see that we, we just kind of don't get enough green circuits through this uh, this build. All right, so we'll extend this out. It's really simple stuff. And you'll notice that a lot of my builds take the same kind of rough form. And that's because it, it's just a reliable way of making a new design completely on the fly. Uh, if you really, really wanted to get into it, you would, of course, balance it and uh, make sure that it uh, has a nice ratio. Obviously, need to put some long-handed inserters in this uh, in this build. Get them now. Nice. So we need to set this up for the rocket control units. So we'll get this doing its thing. Uh, I think that what we do is we just extend this to about there. Let's put down some power poles real quick. Or I forget. Before everything uh, is completely unpowered. And I come back wondering why. And what we'll do is we will set this up so that it's taken from each belt and put into a passive provider. And then we're going to request them work while ever the rocket control units are less than, say, 100. 100? Yeah, 100. Nah, uh, let's, let's make it 200. 100. Okay. So that's 200 there. Right. Now, if we connect up the power, it should start to work. Now we'll see what kind of uh, production that we get. Obviously, this has a lower priority than uh, our module twos. Uh, yeah, wow. And we're putting our processing units into the logistics network before it's coming up here to the rocket control units. Mm-hmm. There we go. So now they're all working. Wonderful. Now something that I'd like to do. Just throw what modules I've got. Because I did pick up a whole bunch there when I deleted that line. Okay, so that's the rocket control units up and running. The next item that we need to have a look at is the low density structures. Now we've got plastic here and what's happening actually with this line? Oh, interesting, okay. You can see that it's, um, yeah, it's stealing a lot of plastic actually. So this station here really isn't cutting the mustard. It's, uh, it's been good up till now, but you can see that it's not uh, fully compressing this belt. So what we're going to do is we're going to go grab a proper station and place it down there. Wonderful. Uh, battery equipment? Yeah, don't need that. Uh, what else do we want? Laser turret shooting speed? I think that's good. Okie dokie, so this is an unloading station and uh, it'll work a lot better. Or will it? Dun, dun, dun. It should work. Uh, what do I want? I want like this kind of area. Yeah, I like it. Oh. Let's go place this up at our other station. I feel like I can make this work. I hope I can anyway. Okay, okay. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just disconnect this for a moment. Um, we will also... Uh, I kind of need to remove the belts as well. I'll move these real quick as well. Is the... The boxes themselves should stay in the same location. It should 
just be the uh hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yep, okay. I think we're fine. Uh, we'll delete that there. Really need to make these smart chests, just as a random thought. Okay, need to remove these. Make sure that they're uh, changed over to be smart inserters. Uh, this can just have the filter changed actually. Oh. Uh, We'll change this over to sulfur. Hold the phone. I need to uh, just make sure that that doesn't get uh, carried away there. Because what we'll do, right, is um, we will combine we'll combine like this half into one belt and this half into the other belt. That's that's the plan here. Oh, uh, so that's fine. This needs to become plastic. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, I think that that's pretty much us. Oh, we need another four. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So we've got one line of sulfur and one line of plastic ready to be uh, manipulated. I think that uh, actually moving, just doing this, this line, right? Mm, now we're getting into a little bit of spaghetti. Fine. All right, that'll work. Now we need to do the same thing with the sulfur as well. And see that that's, uh, that's now giving us one compressed belt, which is much, much better than what we had before. What we had before was just my rough working so that uh, we can get it up and running as quickly as possible. Now we will bring this here like this. Yep, I'm liking this. Yeah, I think this is fine. There we go. Job done. Now what we'll do is just uh, throw all this extra stuff we've got on us now into the uh, into the network. Now this should actually be uh, plastic. All right, that's all set up. Very, very nice. Oh, so that, that took a little bit of time, uh, but now we've got a much better station uh, for unloading the plastic and the sulfur. Now we can move on to automating our low density structures. Now the low density structures take a fair bit of time. They also take a fair bit of resources too. Now we've got, uh, we've got some options as to how we do this. Uh, one option is just moving it past this, uh, this rocket shell assembly area and I think that that's probably the best way of doing this simply because we've got the steel and we've got the plastic already there now what was the other item it needed it needs copper so we need to get the copper in somehow and that could be the interesting part uh, we bring it if we can give, get like a split running this way that would work. Ooh. 
So just run some underground belts here just so that we know where we're aiming. Okay, nice. Audio. Uh, we need to take a quick blueprint of this. So that we can uh, in properly extract from this uh, this main bus. Okay, here it is. Perfect. Allow the bots to place that. We'll hook this up. We need to put in some power. There we go. Pick these up. Nice. That's going to work now. We just need to hook this line up. And uh, we've got the three products that we need where we need them. We've got copper. We've got steel. We've got plastic. Here's what we're going to, need to do. Is we're just going to do a simple, simple straight line uh, assembly area, and we'll do it something that looks like this. Wow, that was a that was a piece of wood in the way. And we'll do about ten. Uh, so what's that? That's two, four, six. That's eight. That's ten. Easy. So, as well. Ideally, you'd mine the coal, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. We'll just build straight out of the top of it. Okay, so this is low density structures. And. I need to hook this up like so. With this being automated, we'll uh, we'll be pretty much at the point where it's just a, ma a, a waiting game and uh, gathering in the resources that we require. We won't need to do terribly much else. And now then, I think that we we run the outflow line back this way, then we can place it into the network like this. Uh, low density structures less than 200 set oh. we'll throw down some more inserters and this this is pretty much uh all we'll do this episode it's not the most exciting episode um especially compared to you know some of the combinator stuff that i've been doing and uh, that's 10 i'll need another five ish uh, yeah, some of the combinator stuff, but this this is an important step towards getting the the rocket silo up and running. Rightio. Now be careful not to line up your long-handed inserters. Because what you can have happen is if this uh, factory gets destroyed, you can have um, the long-handed insert is actually passing things to themselves. <laughs> and you can actually have the same kind of problem uh, arise with furnaces if you line up a long-handed inserter with an output short-handed inserter on the other side. It's actually quite amusing when it happens. It happened in Break the Game uh, where I had uh, some furnaces destroyed and, and suddenly the inserters were passing copper ore to themselves and then putting copper ore down my co <laughs> my copper main bus. It was... Um, and not the greatest. Right, uh, what's the copper supply doing? Ooh. Okay, so we're a little bit short here on uh, on copper. Why is that? These copper mines are just, uh, just out on their feet. And this, this is loading and flowing as fast as it can. Ah, interesting. We're pretty much at the stage where upgraded belts are going to become more and more required, but you notice that I haven't had to, and I won't actually need to upgrade my belts either. 
Um, I can still make do with yellows. Making them reds or blues would improve things marginally, uh, but for the most part, just having a well-designed main bus has, um, has carried us through pretty much the entire game. Which was a point I was trying to make. Okie dokie. Uh, if we have a look here. Uh, we've got like a little bit of copper here, a little bit of copper here. We potentially put down some mines there. I might do that off camera, guys. Uh, this has been, you know, fairly straightforward episode. It's fairly routine and mass, <laughs> probably mundane. But um, now we've got uh, we've got all that we need to make a rocket being created. Actually, we haven't started making the satellite, so I tell a lie. But uh, I'll probably do that uh, in the next episode. Research that. We've got everything we need to make a rocket silo right here now. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. So thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode.